paint. Hello everyone, we are... Oop. The intro starting again. We are back with more Parasite Eve. I'm running out of uh, song references for the uh, titles. Yeah. Excuse me. I just started, what the fuck? It... It's still 710! God damn it! Uh, frame one yawn. Okay. Alright. So we are going to the museum, I believe. That's a lot of Kurons. If I remember correctly, I was going to cash in and uh, move some stuff around. Another yawn already. Yeah. Darn it, duh. I'm punking my eye again. So, equipment. I'm going to store that. I'm going to reload it first. Let me reload this as well. Actually, wait a minute. I should keep this on me in case I need, in case I want to deal damage, but do not want my fire damage. Because it's slightly better than what I'm currently using. In fact, it seems to be a straight upgrade over what I'm currently using. Hey, Bell. Oh, by the way, I'm going to uh, talk with some streaming mutuals to see what my options are for a uh, thing in OBS. I am going to replace the Quake Who Redeem with a redeem that, if it works the way I want it to, will play a random boomer shooter sound effect. I'm going to get a pool of sound effects to put in there. Uh, so it'll be like the uh, sound from Quake, the Who, or Doom. The Who from Quake, the uh, Bomb Guy Scream from Serious Sam, various elite noises. I know Halo isn't really a boomer shooter. The uh, health sound effect from, uh, what was it, Half-Life, and various death noises from uh, Unreal Tournament. That's the plan, at least. Really wish I could use the fucking D-pad. Halo is 22 years old. Yeah, see, like, it's old enough to be counted with what would typically be boomer shooters, but it does not play like a boomer shooter. Granted, neither does Half-Life, but Half-Life is considered a boomer shooter. All right, I don't need all of these in here. So fuck so many of these fucking things. Yeah, I'm gonna just keep three on me and move the rest. Alright. 
Oh god, I'm so low on medicines now, though. I have another cure P. No, but I have a full cure, which I'm gonna hold on to. Move you. Move you. Discard junk. Is Red Faction a boomer shooter? Is it? I have Red Faction on PS4. I don't remember when or why I got it, but it's the PS2 version. Excuse me. And I have the Switch remake of Red Faction Gorilla. That's uh, Red Faction Gorilla Remastered. I have not gotten around to playing them yet. Perhaps I will save that for a stream. I don't know. But I don't know if Red Faction's a boomer shooter, actually. Alright. I don't like how that's sorted. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna go back up and, uh. Oh, wrong way. Back up to the office and save. hours have I played this for, according to the game? Seven hours and 24 minutes. Ooh. How many times have I streamed this? I think this is my fourth or fifth stream, so I don't think that's accurate. I don't exactly keep track of uh, how often I stream the game. Probably should. I mean, I do number, or at least I try to number my, uh, um, VODs. You have two parts on YouTube. I do. Okay. This is part three. Okay, then, yeah, seven hours. That, that's, uh, pretty close. Chinatown. Alright, uh, Sky said not to go to the warehouse. I don't remember Chinatown being an option before. He specifically said avoid the warehouse for now. I think our next goal is the museum. Sky is not currently here at the moment. Part of me wants to check out Chinatown. So I'm gonna do that. Almost every major city in the U.S. has a Chinatown, by the way. I don't know if there's a Chinatown in L.A., but I know L.A. has a little Tokyo. Chicago has a Chinatown. It's very nice. I've been there a few times. Also, if you hear uh, someone sneezing in the distance, that is my dad. He has obnoxiously loud sneezes. And every time he sneezes, it's always a fit of, like, five sneezes. It's never just one, two, or three. It's always, like, five. Alright, I don't know if I should be here right now. Let's find out. Hello. Oh, it's these things again. Alright. I'm gonna swap to my uh, other gun. It's stronger, but it has worse range. Only by one point, though. Yeah, these things are just fire. Alright. Well, it's a good thing I have two guns on me. Oh, wow, these guys hurt. Take 
fermiamo Also, I've been playing a fair bit more Skyrim lately. I'm very close to the end of the questline for the mod Felscar, or Falscar, which has been a pretty cool mod so far. So, hang on a sec here. The, the thing that I like about Falscar is that out of all the other Skyrim DLCs that add islands that you can visit, be it Dragonborn, which is an actual DLC, Worm's Tooth, which is uh, another big mod, and uh, God, Mi uh, I think it's Midwood Isle is the other one that I have. Uh, Falscar has been my favorite because of its story, because it is so grounded compared to the others. With Dragonborn, you go to Solstheim because a uh, dipshit named Maroc, who turns out to be the first Dragonborn, I think, uh, send some cultists after you because you're the only other dragonborn alive and he's not happy about it. So you have to work with Hermaeus Mora. Hey, Zeno. You have to work with Hermaeus Mora to, uh, kill Marak because Hermaeus Mora is, wants to change his champion, I guess. And it's a whole thing about dealing with Daedra and, uh, the Black Books and whatnot. For Worm's Tooth, it's a dragon who's basically a wannabe Alduin that is trying to consume everything. Kind of. He really just hates this one specific island. For Midwood Isle, it's a Daedra that doesn't really exist in the lore, it's outside of the DLC, or mod, that is trying to uh, wreck the Sun Elves and eventually the world. But with Falscar, it's just a squabble between two families. And it's, it's a nice, refreshing take for a mod story, for a uh, questline story in a series that normally has you dealing with gods, demigods, or uh, other dimensional beings, or just world-devouring people or creatures. This isn't a mod like that, it's just two families that really fucking hate each other. One of whom is full of good people, the other one is full of shitlords. So it's just a refreshing take to have a grounded DLC. Uh, also, Zeno, um, I didn't use the command, I kind of forgot to. I yawned frame one of coming out of uh, the starting soon screen, and then yawned a second time like a minute or two later. Oh boy, it's snakes again. Oh, that was some nasty poison. Oh, more ammo. Do I even need to pee here, though? Is the question. Oh, I see the save point. Hey, Jake, it's Chinatown. Is that from Blues Brothers? Like, I know the quote from uh, Gex. I mean, I've seen Blues Brothers, but I don't remember the movie all that well. It's been fucking forever since I last watched uh, Blues Brothers. Blue Let's blow this. Just uh, order some takeout real quick. Are we? There is a uh, n a lovely little bakery in the Chinatown in Chicago that we go to every now and then. That has uh, absolutely divine meat buns. I love their curry chicken buns. They're so good. 
I took Dennis to Chinatown at one point for a project at my old college, the first one I went to. And uh, he ended up loving the meat buns so much. Oh, there's my Ada. He ended up loving the meat buns so much that uh, um, he ended up going back there with his brother to get even more. Good thing I came here, I guess, is my Ada. Oh yeah, it's here. Huh? Looks like rotten meat. I'm going down to have a look. Notify Daniel for me. Why did I say Daniel like that? Yes, wait. Here, take this. Stop fucking filling my inventory with junk! Careful now. I already know from Sky that the, these uh, charms don't really matter at all. I don't need them on me. Which is good, because they just take up space in my inventory. I can't do anything with them. Oh boy, another stinking sewer. I didn't mean to say stinking there, but... Oh, hi, that... Those bats. It's a bat. Alright. So, if I have one big complaint with this game... ...is if I pump three shots into one enemy and it dies on the first shot, it doesn't transfer my remaining shots to any additional enemies. Cure D? What's D? Hang on a sec here, what the fuck? Here's and prevents darkness, is that like a blind? I would imagine so. <sighs> Cure D's nuts. It's better not be a maze. Oh, there's just a whole lot of nothing here, huh? over this way. Uh-oh. What fresh hell am I walking into? Oh, it's just bats. Oh, I wonder if these guys give, uh... give darkness. Yep. right over my head. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Yeah. Thank God. Some more curities. Bats, bats, we are the bats.
There we go. Ow. And of course, I immediately get poisoned. Oh, I see how this is just gonna go. Oh, good God. shotgun here oh yay yeah I was wondering I was questioning if I should even be here yet but it looks like I can be here I kind of forgot that Maeda went missing oh boy I love up. gene heal use PE to slowly recover HP Ooh. Currently lost in the suit. This is the second room like this. That's the wrong one. Yeah, let me just uh, do that real quick. You're liking the bats? I am not. I like bats. I don't like these bats. Uh oh. The froggy people way Oh, that's a poison dart frog, isn't it? Oh, that's a very fucked up looking frog. Ow. Fence down, frog. I don't like that thing. So, my just gonna constantly give me uh, bullshit good luck charms that I don't need. Oh boy, another room like this. Let's go this way. Bats, bats, we are not the bats. Okay. No tokens of his affection, be nice to the nerd. Okay, okay. I just noticed, Aya looks like a twig. Girl, you gotta eat some more sandwiches. Plus two. I'm just gonna put or use that real quick. Yeah. All right. 
night. Get some gate. Can I go any further left? Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Oh, thank you for the resub, Simki. Really appreciate it. Is it, is it possible for me to go any further left here? Does not seem like it. Ooh, that worked in feel right. Oh, excuse me. See, that doesn't look like it should be an invisible wall, though. That's the thing. Also, is this what sewers really look like? I've obviously never been in a sewer. Also, is there any way to run from a battle? Oh, there is. Fail to escape. Okay. Yeah, typically in an RPG, you don't really want to run out from battles. Because it's good XP and all that, but sometimes you just gotta go. Well, this damn frog is gonna need medicine, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna scour this grid, though. I'm pretty sure that shotgun is in one of the junctions. Yeah. Uh, if anyone would like to pull up a map, that would be very helpful, because I am absolutely going to get lost. Looks like they do look like that. It's kind of nuts to me. So I should be able to go down this way. Oh, so yes, I know. It helps to have a map. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, I would normally be against it for this because I haven't needed a map, but for... Oh, hi. Oh, it's just bats. But for uh, this... Yeah, I'd like a map. Could be worse, this could be non-Euclidean. Helps to have a map. I hate all of you. I like how you can kill the bats even when they blind you, as long as you get, a uh, right up in their face. I'm lying, I don't hate all of you. Steve knows what he did, though. Steve, Steve call out posts. And you know, like I said, Steve knows what he did. Girl, why do you have to walk so far forward before I can take control? And press the game down. Let's see. Do you just have the strategy guide sitting around? see here. Interesting. There's a percent chance for what items you get. That's very interesting. Alright. Okay. I just got the defense too.
Yeah, I see where the ladder is. So the defense two is on the other side. So there is something here. I see the chest. Jet. Right, I'm going to try to run from battle this time. Ow. So that's how that works. And it's in three. Perfect. Alright. So then I go north here. And then theoretically right around here is something. That's flapping in. Yes, the baton flapping. That's a grenade launcher. So, go here, it's one more junction. Wait, that's the wrong way. I go here. I'm just gonna try to run from these battles if I can right now. Actually, no, I'll kill these bats. At least I get a cure uh, uh, D's from them. Yeah, 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 I know. Cure these nuts. Using an awful lot of ammo, though. Oh, oh, my toys full. Shit. I'll hold on to that cure D because I'll probably need it. Damn, my health jumped up. What the fuck? So escaping may not always be terribly helpful. Sometimes it'll send you back to where you started and you'll have to go through with it to move past anyways. Oh boy. Alright, so I think... Ah! Okay, inventory is full. Exchange item. I'm going to exchange these nuts. A shotgun. Now for the secret sauce, the burst effect. Alright. You can throw it on your current gun now, or save it for whatever you're gonna end, up, end with, but you will want that on whatever gun you use. And yes, you can apply it to any gun, even a pistol. Spray multiple targets. Oh boy. Yeah, speaking of... I'm gonna change the plan real quick. Alright, I'm using a lot of ammo right now. I'm going to grab this tool that I see on the map that's right here. Alright, I guess I have to try out the shotgun.
It's a matter of I keep being hit with darkness because uh, this lets me use up my uh, cure wounds. I have a lot of them. Oof, that crit. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite PS1 games, I gotta say. This is really good. I see a super tool all the way up near the top. I probably should grab that. for me, bitch. There we go. Super tool, my beloved. Transfer without destruction. Ah. I don't need those gear days. The tool should be directly south of me. This is the regular tool. I'm gonna discard a cure D. Acid effect to bullets. <sighs> Never mind, I'm going to hold on to that. You think you'll play 2 and 3 as well? I'm not sure if 3 is any good, but I have heard good stuff about 2. Uh, Xeno and I might pull our money together to get Parasite Eve 2. I kind of brought it up with him without directly asking him, hey, we should do it. Uh, I will not be getting the third birthday. PE2 is a radically different beast of a game, but I honestly can't say it's bad. It's just got all that tank control survival horror baggage, except with the lock-on system that doesn't suck. Excuse me. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I am more interested in, uh, PE2. Excuse me. Sorry. I just, I just had a big bowl of ramen, and my body seems hell-bent on making it impossible for me to talk right now. Um. I will try to get a copy of Harrison Eve 2 at some point, with or without Xeno's help. Uh, it really depends on when we're able to do it and how much money both of us are willing to spend on something. Uh, third birthday, I have heard very bad things about. Uh, I distinctly remember watching a video where someone put it on their list of the worst games ever made. It may have just been the worst PSP games, but it was a worst of something video. Alright. I am going to... Go back to the precinct real quick. To try to free up some space in my inventory. Because it looks like I'm going to the subway after this, so I probably want to free up that space now. Before I move on. Is 
It's not a bad price. Why is it about fifty dollars for losing the hundred for CIV? Yeah, see, uh, I prefer to go CIV for PS1 games personally. We have one PS1 game that is not CIB, which is Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver, which Xeno bought for me. And I'm gonna just admit that there was a bit of a miscommunication, and I misunderstood what he meant when he told me that it had uh, no cover. Because I thought he meant that it was a physical copy without the uh, manual. What it actually was was a loose disc in a really cheap case. Which. Not his fault, it's entirely my fault for being an idiot. But we were going to, uh, get a proper jewel case for it and print out a manual, and we just never did that. Not print out a manual, print out a label. I can probably find a manual online. But, uh, speaking of Soul Reaver, that actually is going to be our next Retro Night game. After this. Because I have been wanting to, uh... I have been wanting to replay Soul Reaver. And to be clear, like, I don't actually remember what Zeno told me when he was out, but there was a miscommunication and I misunderstood what he said. But I'm not upset that he got it, it's just that I, when he got it, I didn't realize it was in a cheap case. Because I misunderstood what he said. I played through it. I, I played through Soul Reaver on that copy, so it's not like I was upset about it. But Soul Reaver is one of my favorite uh, PS1 games. I've never played the, uh, the PS1 or Dreamcast version. It's PS1. I didn't get the I, I didn't know there was a Dreamcast version until later. But I played it on PS1. I have never played Blood Omen Legacy of Kane. A lot of people forget that Soul Reaver is actually a sequel to Blood Omen. But I have not played Blood Omen. I have not played Blood Omen 2... Or Soul Reaver 2. I think there's a Blood Omen 2. And I've not played Soul Reaver 2. We don't even own them. But, uh... I would... Love to just play through the most of the Legacy of Kane games. I do know the series died with Nosgoth, which is kind of a wet fart. Play Blood Omen? You highly recommend I avoid the PS1 version. Interesting. Why is that... Loading times are bad. Dreamcast version is supposed to be better, so it might be worth trying that as a replay. Uh, how much is the Dreamcast version? All right, I'm gonna start the grenade launcher. Oop. All right, that is the good handgun. I'm going to move this. these oh I can't actually get rid of that yet All right, I'm gonna move the tool over here for now Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
It's another version of Blood Omen. The PC version of Blood Omen is pretty much the proper way to play, if you recall. Dreamcast version is about 30 to 40 CIB and 15 to 20 loose. Okay. Uh, PC version of Blood Omen would be a problem, possibly, because I'm on Linux. I do my PC gaming from my Steam Deck, which is a Linux device. And if I don't stream it from the Steam Deck, I stream it from my laptop, which is also a Linux device. So it entirely depends on that running on Linux, and I would much rather have it on console anyways. Because that's something I would rather play with a controller, and that might be a little annoying to set up on PC. So, long loading times is not an issue for me. I played games with bad loading times. All right, now to go back. Blood Omen isn't available on Steam, sadly. There's no Proton DB list to check, but if you pick it up sometime, you'll check it out for me. Oh, that's right, you have a Steam Deck. Yeah, I exclusively do my PC gaming from a Steam Deck because I'm weird. I am a console gamer at heart. What I wanted almost a decade ago was a console like PC. A PC that I could turn on, say, with a controller or something, play with a controller, do everything I would want to do with a controller. And, uh... whatnot. The Steam machines were close, but not quite what I wanted. They were also overpriced and not very good. The Steam Deck, though, that's exactly what I want. That's exactly what I wanted. And that's why I love the Steam Deck so much. It's on GOG, so it might work on your laptop. I can install GOG on my uh, Steam Deck. Remember, the Steam Deck is a PC. If I can install something on my computer, I can install it on my Steam Deck. Excuse me. It's just slightly less convenient, because unless I dock the Steam Deck, I'm forced to use a controller of some sort. Steam machines are too little, too early, pretty much. Had the Steam Deck come out... Oh, no. Actually, no. The Steam Deck should not have come out back then. That probably would have been worse than it is now. I love the Steam Deck. It's not perfect, though. And I think with the improvements that they made later on, the Steam Deck is the reason why. Is With the improvements that they made to Steam and whatnot later on, I think that's really what makes the Steam Deck so good. If it had come out in 2013, it would have been terrible. But the main reason why it even came out in the first place is because of Nintendo. Like, Gabe Newell has outright admitted that uh, Nintendo is the reason they made the Steam Deck. And he also admitted that the Switch OLED is the reason they made the Switch OLED, or the Steam Deck OLED. Gabe Newell, from what I know, has massive respect for Nintendo. And the funny thing is, every single uh, PC handheld that has come out over the years, even going as far back to an open Pandora, which I do own, I do own an open Pandora, uh, there have been issues with quality, performance, uh, what's the word? Uh, fragility, I guess. Build quality, that's what I meant and overheating. Every single, uh... Every single, um, one that has come out in some way, except for kind of the Steam Deck, has had one of those issues, or more of them. But Nintendo seems to have figured it out with the Switch because it's the same kind of device and it doesn't have any of those problems. For the most part. Not nearly to the extent that some of them do. 
Like, I know the ROG Alley has a really bad overheating problem. And even the Steam Deck can run pretty hot. I mean, uh, we all joked during my, the Halo stream that I was uh, getting high off the fumes of the Steam Deck. Because I smelled what smelled like incense. The thing is, I had two machines in front of me that were running kind of hot. My laptop and the Steam Deck. So I have no idea what was giving those fumes. And that literally smelled like incense. So I don't even know what the fuck was happening. Hey, another level up. Oh boy, more D's nuts. I'm just gonna put this all in the active time. I see no reason not to. It's a fucking jump. 30, 60, 280. Guess the machines are right now since there was only two and they're both around 350. Yeah, the RG was going getting to about 110 there. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, the Steam Deck does get a little warm, but not that warm. Oh, yeah. There we go. Alright. I got that. Uh, out of safety, I'm gonna go back up to the surface and, uh, save. Also, uh, I apologize if you hear noises coming from my body that aren't burps. Uh, I have been trying to go to the bathroom all day and nothing is coming out of my body. So, I'm either going to have a very unpleasant sleep, or I am going to completely dis- Oh, hello. I didn't even see you there. Or I am going to completely destroy the poor toilet. Yeah. Uh, the human body is not very efficient. Intelligent creator, my ass. Oh, that- Extra joke that I- I, I didn't mean there. Alright, so, I'm gonna scroll up for a moment. Oh, it's right there. Dreamcast version is about 30 to 40 CIB. Yeah, I can... Uh, it would have to wait a little bit, but... Because I, I don't... I feel like we're not finishing Parasite Eve tonight. So I'd have another week at the minimum. I was considering getting Soul Reaver for Dreamcast, and I do have the means to stream from a Dreamcast. I did buy extra cables. I've been waiting for a Dreamcast stream. We're doing Skies of Arcadia after uh, Fuga 2, but it's going to be the GameCube version, not the Dreamcast version. We own both. The GameCube version is actually Xeno's, and the Dreamcast version is mine. But I'm going to stream the GameCube version, since it's technically the better version, and I feel like if I'm going to stream one of them, it really should be that version. Good luck. Thank you. Human body sucks. Why can't I be a furry? Oh. Why can't I be a dragon? Is that too much to ask? I already exist to spike god. Why can't I be a dragon? Never seen a Dreamcast in person, you don't think they exist. Oh shit. I've been lied to. Wow, that beam gets pretty wide.
I don't think I need a map anymore. This thing had a funny thing happen in Octopath that he completely forgot about. He's bewildering dance and set your entire party to one HP. In the Dreamcast too, but most people call it the Xbox. I also have an original Xbox. I do not have the spare cables I need to stream from it, but I will be getting those soon. I uh, actually get paid by Twitch today. In fact, I have reached my payout threshold, so a couple of days I will have a little bit of extra cash coming to my account. And uh, now that I've gone to the bank and sold some stuff, I can get the cables that I wanted. So I will be getting some cables. So Okay, so to clarify, the reason why I'm getting spare cables is because we have a setup in the game room that is very difficult to undo. So what I have done is I bought spare cables for the consoles I want to stream from so I can pull the consoles from the game room without having to pull the cables because the cables would be very difficult to undo every time. This way I can keep the cables in my room, take the console from the upstairs into my bedroom, and just set up for my cables. And then when I'm done, I put my cables away and I put the console back in the game. Simple. And I have a switch dock that I bought just for my room. Um, what cables am I getting? I'm going to... Oh, don't go... Don't... No, 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 Oh, come on. Oh, boy. Um, I'm going to be getting spare cables for the Wii U original Xbox, Xbox 360, and, uh, PS4. And, uh, probably PS3. I would get spare cables for the Genesis and NES... Oh, in the Saturn. I'll get spare cables for the Saturn. My priority is the original Xbox 360, Wii U, and PS4. But, uh, I will not be getting spare cables for the NES because, uh, I am not using an HDMI adapter for the Xbox. I'm, I can probably snag one. I'd have to look into that. Uh, I was just going to use composite in my HDMI converter. Um... I was going, I was not going to get cables for the NES because uh, I have a really shit cable or composite cable for the NES that does not give good picture quality. So with the converter, it's going to look even worse. Uh, I'm not getting spare cables for the Genesis because our Genesis is faulty and the power cable has to be propped up in order for it to actually stay on. So. Um, that one is a bit of an issue. I need to replace the Genesis. I haven't figured out how I'm going to do that. Or what I'm going to replace it with. Use an adapter called Xbox 2. This is... Oh. The audience from Central Park. Ew. I'm sure shooting the gelatinous blob is going to do something. Somebody's poisoned the water hole! You know, they say New York City's drinking water is some of the cleanest in the country. Hey, lizard man. I have to get the slime out of the reservoir before it infects the whole city. Uh, okay, so Genesis 2. Uh, Simkey. I have a Model 2. That's what's faulty. I don't have a Model 1. Um... Yeah, it's, it's the Model 2 that's faulty. It, it was my sister's when she was a kid. So it's very old. I mean, obviously all of them are very old. But this one has... I This one has been in my family since I was... Since before I was born, actually, as far as I know. Granted, again, that's basically every Genesis. But what I mean is this one has been in my family's possession since before I was born. This is one of the... Probably the oldest console that we own, actually. From our family. 
Yeah, we have a Model 2. I was considering using, uh, trying to find a cheap Retron to use for physical Genesis cards. That would also cover NES. Uh, however, I'm kind of, I was kind of banking on the Poly Mega. And just getting all the modules for that, since that would make my life so much easier. But it seems the Poly Mega's having issues. You have a CRB copy of Rocket Knight Adventures? Uh, Sky. Guess what I own? Guess what my sister owned? And has been in my possession since uh, before I was born. Or in my family's possession since before I was born. Also, uh, Sky, that actually reminds me. You might not see it tonight. So let me just pull up stream elements real quick. Uh, Sky, have you seen my raid alert? I don't think you have. I don't I don't think you've been in the stream where I've been raided. Yeah, uh, let me just there we go. Emulate raid event. That's my raid alert. Uh, it was doubled because I uh, kind of just zoned out for a moment and I had the uh, overlay. I, I had the page active and I kind of just left it open while I was playing the uh, alert and forgot to close the tab as quickly as possible. That's why it was doubled. So I apologize for that. Because it was playing it in stream and in my browser. That That's what happened. Yeah. I adore Rocket Knight Adventures. I have not actually beaten it because I keep game overing on the final boss, but I can get there pretty consistently. Like, I can probably speedrun Rocket Knight if I wanted to. If I really wanted to sit down and learn it. Rocket Knight Adventures is my favorite Genesis game. It's just a Model 1, but it has some bad sound issues on later releases and the Model 3 success, so I guess the Retron or Polymega would be the best options if you don't want to spend $400 for the better obscure CDX or JVC. I mean, I could just get another Model 2. There's nothing stopping me from doing that. Me having a bad Model 2 doesn't stop me from getting a better Model 2. Like, it works. It's just that it is faulty. And, uh... Because, I mean, I could... Okay, so what I used to do is the power cable, like I said, needs to be propped up in order for it to power on. What I actually used to do is when I was going to use the Genesis and I was setting it up somewhere, whatever game I was going to play, I would use its case and set the uh, Genesis on top of it so the cable would be propped up. So, like, uh, the cable would be propped up by the edge of the case. That's what I used to do. There's nothing stopping me from doing that. It's just, do I want... Two is the question. Ideally, I should replace it. It works. I've used it somewhat recently. No, I used it like a couple weeks ago because I was playing Castlevania. You know how to solder? You can fix the issue pretty well. Uh, I don't. Xeno does. But uh, I need a backup plan in case that goes south. So I would need to have something is a backup. The other thing is, it's not actually my Genesis. It's my sister's Genesis. Technically speaking, I am holding on to it until she decides she wants it back. Which she doesn't. Technically. I am permanently borrowing it, if that makes sense. That that was the deal we made, is that I would hold on to it until she wanted it back. She has not asked for it. So, any changes I make to that Genesis, I have to ask her first. Because it's technically not mine in the first place. But, if anyone's going to solder it, it would be Zeno, because I have no experience soldering, whereas he does. And he's resoldered things before. So, I could check in with him about that, but I'd have to ask my sister first, because if we break it... It's her Genesis. 
Honorable Spike. Yeah, I mean, if something's not actually mine, I am very hesitant to make to do anything with it. Oh, Christ, this better not be a puzzle. Oh, boy. Oh, my God, it's the gator from earlier. Good God. I'll ignore barrier for right now. Yeah, this is the same boss, but I can't target his tail this time. Ow, he fucking hurts. Alright, see you, Sinki. ranges for right now. Alright, do I have to interact with all of these? Do I have to interact with any of these? Was, it, was How far am I on Lunacid? I made it to the Underworks, but I'm going to start over. Because <coughs> I think I fucked up my build. Because I was an idiot and was trying to uh, even out my stats when I should be specializing. So I'm not super far into the game. I'm just going to start over. Nothing down here but an optional mini boss and some goodies. Tori is full. Uh, let me take one of these. Tool. Yeah, I don't think I've encountered a boss yet in uh, Lunacid. Lunacid's very good, by the way. Y'all should play it. If you like Kingsfield and Shadow Tower, it's a tribute to it. It's a game by Akuma Kira, who is the developer of Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. They are very, very cool. Go support them. I have been wanting to play Kingsfield for a decade. I don't think I will ever be able to afford a copy. So, Lunacid is the next best thing. Yeah, it's got a really nice retro feel if you like low poly aesthetics, and the soundtrack is phenomenal. Ugh, yawn. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of pronoun options. The game actually has it, its pronouns available, which is not something you see often. Some people don't even consider those pronouns valid. They're absolutely valid. You can move the slime in the reservoir by using this control panel. Master power is off. Turn it on. Create pump one. It's not enough power. Okay. 
slurp. Alright, I think that's all I have to do here. Of course, it does absolutely nothing to, in the game as far as I can see. Yeah, uh, it's actually, ironically, kind of a pointless feature because the most of the characters in the game either just use your name or refer to you in the second person. Sky, am I done here? Can I go? Can I go through that door? What door? Oh, the subway! I forgot about the subway. That was on the map you sent me. I see the door. Stop it. Don't open that door. I don't know what you're quoting. That can't be good. Eve is costing the city millions in property damage. Water is too high to cross. It's an obscure game you've probably never heard of, don't worry about it. It will drastically affect the stock market. Exactly. That is so inconsiderate of her. What are the stock traders going to do now? They'll actually have to do something with their lives. Like, they'll actually have to go out and start watching movies and talking to people and, you know, being normal functioning people who don't care about the stock market. Probably should have used some of these. I like the shotgun right now. Go ahead and destroy the financial district, that you Make the people happy. Yeah. Destroy some... Uh... I was trying to this to say destroy Wall Street. I almost said destroy Walmart. Fuck it, do both. They just jump off a building and die like they did in the first stock market crash. Is that actually what happened? Need a key. I need a key. Ugh. Can't destroy Walmart. I can and I will. In Minecraft. Like your job at Walmart. I think the phone light is flashing through Aya's neck. Destroy Walmart. It. Down the photon corneo. I understood that reference. Yeah, it's flashing through her body. That's funny.
Boy, I sure do hope I don't get run over. It's like I'm gonna get you. Me when I fucking get you. Get run over by the train. The goop train. What are you? Ow. Ow! Oh, man. My body is really angry with him. Hans Molman. I'm going to be in for a really terrible bathroom experience at some point. I'm not looking forward to it. That's a centipede. I'm gonna go to hell before I die. Oh, that hurt. Oh, wonderful. I'm trying, Val. This is not the time to be poisoned. How many levels did I go up? Oh god damn, that's a lot. Oh, hang on a sec here. Hang on just one sec here. Prepare for a disc change. Woo, yeah, disc change. Change that disc. Next, di next disc, baby. Let's go disc two. Hooray! Yeah, I'm just gonna pump all that in active time. No biggie. Another grenade launcher. Frost effect. I could probably just end up adding every fucking effect to one gun.
Fun fact, 420 69. There's a train you can enter on the right-hand side. You say as I leave the room. Let me see what's on this here. 420 69 train. All we gotta do is follow the damn train, CJ. How do I... That's not... Oh, it was all the way on the right hand side. The protector. Tool. But it's weaker than what I currently have. I have club two, I don't need club or I have club three, I don't need club two anymore. Exactly what I'm gonna do though. What is the tool? Is that two items? There we go. Now I'm re resistant to poison and stiff, and that frees up two inventory slots until I get out of here. I have two more tools I can use and a super tool. Slime's going towards. The museum! Dun dun dun! Yeah, that would have been fucking handy there. Oh, hi. Hope you enjoyed the uh, PS2 ASMR. Station 2. This is a reminder when I stream retro games, uh, usually I stream from original hardware. Whenever I can. Oh god. Really? Nine, dude. I have well, well, I don't have a PlayStation, though. Oh, <laughs> I saw that. 
I have a PS2, but not a PS1. Because I did not have a PS1 growing up. We had a PS2. I jumped straight from PS1 to PS2. Or I, I jumped straight into PS2. Fuck it, I'm just gonna top off. Fake gamer? <gasps> Spike's a fake gamer! He doesn't have a single console! I think I said that wrong. Damn, bro, you gotta get yourself a gray box. I have a gray box, it's a Dreamcast. What's more of a cream box? Oh, now I didn't have to interact with the key. Okay. Or gate. Back to the precinct. Off some shit. Yeah, that is actually kind of odd. So we got about two and a half hours of stream left. Well, it's more like two hours and 20 minutes. Probably get through the museum comfortably in that time. Yeah, which means I would save what the last day for uh, next week. More ammo. Store equipment. Store item. I'm going to store the tools. And take these two back. Yeah, sorry for the sign silence there I was reading. <laughs> right. We'll continue, go to the museum. We have some good museums in Chicago. 
Museum of Science and Industry, which is kind of a children's museum. Not really all that great if you're an adult, but there's still some merit to going there. They have some good exhibits. They have a really big model train set if you're into that. There's also a really cool coal mine exhibit. There's a really interesting uh, exhibit that is kind of a blast from the past, from like the uh, 20s and 30s. It's uh, basically a remake of a, a f an indoor, quote-unquote, main street modeled after what Chicago looked like in the 20s and 30s. Yeah, those are the manners I'm talking about. The reason why I mentioned that exhibit specifically, though, is because at the end of it, there is a theater where they uh, play non-stop classic silent films. And it's right next to an ice cream parlor that has amazing sundays. It's really good main reason why I go over there every time. Um, we also have the Fuel Museum, which is more boring and more adulty, but I actually like it more now because I'm, I find this stuff a little more interesting. They have a lot of the Native American artifacts, which I really hope weren't looted. But they also have a Civil War and a World War I and World War II exhibits, I believe. They have a Egypt exhibit, which I also really hope wasn't looted. I genuinely don't know. And they have a, a bunch of other exhibits on history and nature. They also have Sue the T-Rex, a uh, T-Rex fossil so famous it has its own Twitter account. Nobody knows who, uh, well... Nobody outside of the Fuel Museum knows who runs the Sue the T-Rex Twitter account. It's very likely someone at the Fuel Museum. Who's that? Who's there? Oh, we're going to fight a dinosaur, aren't we? There's also uh, an African American History Museum that I forget the name of. There's an Asian American History Museum. I think there's a Chicago History Museum. There's several art museums. And there's uh, a Museum of Contemporary Art, which I'm not a big fan of. I'm not the biggest fan of the art they have there. But I do like the art of the Art Institute and the Smart Art Museum. I used to go to the Smart Art Museum on field trips as a kid. And I've gone to the Art Institute uh, on my own as an adult. Sue is one of, if not the most complete T-Rex fossil. It's the main reason why they're famous. Yeah. Very famous. Uh, they used to be in the lobby, but they now have their own uh, dedicated exhibit, which actually mentions the Twitter account. And you may notice I'm using they, them. It's because according to the Twitter account, Sue is uh, non-binary because we don't actually know what gender the T-Rex was. Thought to be female, but I think we're not actually sure. However, according to the Twitter account, they are a they-them ancient murder bird. Zeno, if you want to drop the Twitter account for Sue the T-Rex, go ahead. Everyone here, even if you're not from Chicago, should be following it. Is there anything I can interact with here? No you. No you. No. You. We're gonna fight a dinosaur. They kind of used to say large murder bird, but doesn't anymore. They may have gotten in trouble for it. Yeah, that's Sue. Highly recommend giving them a follow. Hey. Uh oh. Rats, rats, we are the rats. What are these rats?
Ammo plus 30. If rats were dinosaurs, then yes. Oh, okay. How the hell did those dinosaurs get here? Tool. G22. Oh, wait. It's locked. You were born there, you monster. Uh-oh. Sell. Level up. Somehow these are true dogs. I don't know. Ooh, that's good. Uh, I don't actually know what a true don is. I was never big on dinosaurs. That was always Xenos thing. I was big on dragons. Trends. I go up. It's not working, but I'm sure I'll start up again if I deactivate the alarm. Wasn't paying attention. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come <laughs> on. 
Oh yeah, so all kids love to get up their trivia games. There's certainly nothing unusual about that. America, fuck yeah. With small theropods in the early Cretaceous, I believe, and look like raptors drumming themselves. Was waiting for a sec. Were you America? Fuck yeah! Uh, because I did a children's trivia game and got ammo from it. Hell yeah, brother! Someone obviously doesn't want me to get through this area. Wish haste, haste lasted a little bit longer. What was the nutritional source of the first organism that lived 3.9 billion years ago? Uh, nitrogen oxides from Vulcan. Hey! That was a guess. It would have been underwater volcanoes, wouldn't it? Gnarly space ingredients. Major up in here. Yeah, I did take a biology class earlier or something. Oh, ah, dance is my two pants. Oh, ah, dance is my two pants. If you, if you recognize that song, you can apply for a senior's discount. Bonus points if you also recognize Cliffhanger hanging from a cliff. That's why he's called Cliffhanger. Can't hold on much longer. If you remember either of those, you can apply for a senior's discount. Recognize that one? They're from the same show. Between the Lions. What, that was probably my favorite out of PBS Kids' uh... Out of PBS Kids' lineup. It's been a while- well, yeah, it's been a while for all of us, I think. I vaguely remember Between the Lions playing on the elementary school television before first class. I remember very little about the show. 
but I distinctly remember Cliffhanger and Smarty Pants since those were reoccurring uh, bits. Was that PBS or was that Disney? I think that was PBS. PBS because you watched it. Did you not have cable? Come to think of it, it had to have, had to have been PBS because I watched it at my grandma's house and she didn't have cable. What I watched at my parents' house, I think, was Disney Junior. Whichever one had Roly Poly Oli. You guys remember that one as well. I don't need a medicine too. You only did not have cable until 2005. I feel like you've mentioned that recently. And I just foregore. So I have the uh, memory of a goldfish. I should just wear a hat that says, please be patient, I have autism. <laughs> I forgive you, thank you. A lot of heads. Wait, what was that noise? What are you? Maybe they're from the Central Park Zoo. I'm sure that's the thought process that went behind that. Medicine fours. Uh, don't need you anymore when I can get a four. Don't need you anymore when I can get a four.
Great leaping lizards. Junk. Fuck it. I don't have enough room. Oh, hello. Alright, I'm going to backtrack back to the precinct real quick to drop some shit off. I need to hit the save room on the way out anyways. And if only I wasn't such a fucking hoarder. Why is there a French flag in here? I'm pretty sure the museum looks absolutely nothing like this, but it's honestly still kind of cool looking. It is. I like museums. I like them better when they aren't full of looted artifacts, but that's unfortunately a lot of museums. Museums are also a criminally underutilized setting for horror because they are pretty eerie when empty. Yeah. Hey, Dum Dum, you give me gum gum? Now that. It's a classic. Nothing but bones, ancient artifacts, and echoes. Night at the museum, but it's a horror game. Dust and echoes. <sighs> Yawn. Who the fuck is Dust and Echoes? <laughs> badass enough to make it off that ring alive. Sergeant Johnson. His real name is Dustin Echoes Johnson. The second only other man badass enough to make it off that ring alive. Didn't Chief make it off though? Well, I mean, I guess that's the point of the only other. He's not... He's not other man badass enough. <laughs> I don't know what to expect from you guys sometimes. Excuse me, but there was like three other survivors. Get a clue. They all died before they made it back to Earth, though. I don't read the books, you fucking nerd. <laughs> fight, fight, fight. Yeah, excuse me. Can I get rid of this yet? Fuck you. 
I don't think I need this anymore. I don't think I need this anymore. Alright, I don't need that anymore. I should read the Halo novels. Maybe not all of them, but at least the early ones. Are they canon to the games? Or are they, like, vaguely canon? Because Halo has some wild lore. Not as wild as, like, Marathon. I still need to watch that marathon lore video. I still need to, like, play marathon. I know all f three g uh, games in the marathon trilogy were released for free. Kind of. They released the source code. And there are Linux versions, so I should be able to get them working on the Steam Deck. Even Pocky, ask me anything. What are you eating? Is that an actual question, or are you joking? Have you never had Pocky? How do I describe Pocky? Um... They're kind of like... Hey, just because I ask a question doesn't mean I don't already know the answer. Okay, but do you know the answer? Is that true in this case? Do you already know the answer? Yeah, okay. See, you saved me the embarrassment of having to explain it to you. Seems not work. I've had them before. I haven't had them in a long time. They are pretty good. I like the chocolate one. Uh, actually, wait, no, it's, uh... Some kind of pretzel one that I've had that I like the best. You can get savory ones. Mildly sweet cracker sticks dipped in frosting. You're pretty good. You're pretty good, snake. It's an almond one you're thinking about, Spike. It's an almond one. Okay, I thought it was a pretzel one. <laughs> Listen, it's been a while. I've got the save in the lobby. These guys get really buggy when you shoot them right when they jump. I've decided I do not like these things. Quit moving out of range! Not nice. These things aren't nice.
don't need medicine twos anymore, but I will just uh, gobble those up real quick. There they go. There they are. Gobble. Gobble. Oh, hello. Here, D. D's nuts. I think that's the one I put in there earlier. <laughs> The mitochondria creates ATP and uh, adenosine triphosphate in the cell. How much energy is this equivalent to? First try! Hey! First try. My eyes just glazed over after reading that. Sure, walk your happy ass all the way over. I can go up or down. Uh, what's on the first floor? I think I want to go to the third floor. Wait, uh, wait, 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 hold on. Taking that. <laughs> Go up or down, third floor. So, I think it was, uh, Sky mentioned back when I first streamed this that Parasite Eve was actually based on a novel. Is a novel worth reading? Does it even have an English version? version you can pick up as an ebook and it's an experience. By taking mitochondria, which uses oxygen as its nutritional source, into the body and living with it symbiotically, the bacteria has acquired a tremendous amount of energy. What was the consequence? Uh aging. Yeah, that 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 that's what I meant, yeah. Clucked. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go with that. On my dildo. slow burn all the way up until the third act very 
clinically written, which makes sense since it was written by a pharmacologist, and filled with enough medical terminology to warrant an appendix with definitions. We still very much enjoyed it. Maybe I'll read it. I need to read more. I miss reading. I read a lot when I wasn't allowed to play video games often, so I just read. Once I was able to play video games, uh, unhindered, I stopped reading. In 1987, Cannon and Wilson released a theory stating that humans were derived from mitochondria Eve. Which organism is thought to be mitochondria Eve? An African female. Uh, Zeno actually mentioned that in one of the previous streams. Mitochondria Eve is a real concept. Ah, oh, fuck you. mind some of the subject material can get pretty iffy and it pretty much becomes outright sexual horror at more than one point oh dear i'm glad they left that out yeah sexual horror isn't really my thing i'm gonna be honest i mean i make horny jokes a lot and i am a furry in every definition of a furry if that makes sense but uh i'm gonna be honest sexual stuff isn't really my thing really I don't hate sexual stuff, but I mean, it's not really something that I go out of my way to consume. It's locked. I mean, like, choosing my words here, but like, sexual horror is not something that I think I would want to really engage with. It just doesn't sound right. Ah, oh, Krimbus tree! Guys, it's Krimbus. from these fuckers. It's locked. It's locked. I want a snack. Or a toy. Whatever that is. Or when you are approaching the point in the game where you're in the sexual ho themes ESRB rating. Oh boy. Can you get through there? It's wide open. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, hello. Oh Krampus. I mean, I know I can stream it on Twitch, but... What fresh hell am I wandering into? Oh god, I'm... Hmm. What am I gonna get for Krampus? of ammo.
I hope there's another save point coming up. Well, that can't be good. Set and now it's feeling weird. I think I scratched something I shouldn't have. I was expecting that to be a full on boss, but I guess not. Hey, that looks like the mitochondria. Oh boy. I don't want to use guys, eh? get something big in a moment. I'm gonna have to battle a T-Rex, aren't I? It's a save point ahead because it's going to take a while to get back here if I have to backtrack. Oh, the stairs. The door. It gets close, I won't be able to get through here. Did someone just lock the door? I can get through here. Get it. Sweet protector. Yeah, through here, go through window. I slip, I'm a goner. Let's see. Looks like I can only get in from here. So I need to go down. There's the T-Rex. In the foreground. Phew! Made it. Uh oh. That's an uh oh. Oh, it's just his assholes again. Right, I'm gonna just say, uh, heal right off the bat. Just to top off a little bit. 
There we go. locked of course it is everything here is locked why am I not surprised was it Silent Hill uh, Silent Hill locks company where just everything is locked and they always get jammed is that what it was pretty sure that's what it was Oh boy. Oh, it's the Scorpion boss again. Oh, that's bad. I'm gonna heal first. finish, I forego what I said. Attack with its tail up. Oh, hell, 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 hell. Hell. Silent Hill. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a very uh, poor memory sometimes. Get, get, out, get out of me, get out of me, get out of me. Oh! Yeah, I basically play Silent Hill uh, once a year. I actually have not done my yearly uh, playthrough of uh, Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3 this year. I was considering doing it... Uh, during October, off-stream. But, uh, I ended up not doing that. Oh, hey, Cure P. Of course it is. Staircase going down. What's over here? Right, I'm gonna go back real quick and I'm gonna go down that staircase because maybe there's a save room down there or something. Something. Gates closed. Okay, never mind. I need a save spot, man. It's been a while.
Museum shop. Oh my god. I can get astronaut ice cream. Why does every museum in Chicago have, like, the same fucking things in their, uh... Gift shop? It's always astronaut ice cream. It's always colored rocks. Rock candy, that's another one. It's always rock candy. I mean, maybe it's in other museums across the country as well, because I know Sky doesn't live in Chicago, I don't think, at least. But, like, every museum has the same gifts in the gift shop. Shoot him already. Jesus, woman. Up near Pennsylvania in here. Is that who I wanted to target? Shotguns are quite slow, sadly. But I like shotguns. I like the oomph. And the ones around, ones around here, too. So I like the chance of the burst effect to a handgun. Yeah, what I might do is I might do a super tool to uh, transfer the damage bonus to my better handgun and then transfer the burst. I guess, I, guys, game, I need a save room. Why has there not been a single fucking save spot this entire time since the entrance? I am begging you, I need to save. Long winding dungeons gonna be a bit scarce in the save points. Why? Game developers, why? Squaresoft, why? Here. It's wide open. God damn it, Aya. Uh... Let's see. Where's the alarm? Oh, save point. The perspective on that is really fucked. It's so cinematic though. So cinematic hey wait a minute eve where is she that room where is that here it is and it's been activated deactivate
Oh boy, I saw this in the intro. It was part of it. Schlorp. Dinosaurs. I can't believe it. So that's how she controls inanimate objects. And of all things, she's crazy. Exclamation if I saw that I exclaimed too. Oh, not you assholes again. another RPG I should stream at some point. Frickin' Mega Man X Command Mission. I don't care what anyone says. That game is awesome. I know it reviewed poorly. I don't care. Not every game that reviewed poorly is actually a bad game. Some of them are. Mega Man X Command Mission is a good game, no matter what anyone says. Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood, on the other hand, is a terrible game and critics were right the first time. I want to. Let's look at those cables. Maybe I will. Also, yeah, the armadillo walk cycle is pretty funky. Enough of these. I'm just gonna waste that. I need a key for this one. Oh, for fuck's sake. I 
I should be able to at least take the elevator now. Very sincere urban games that you really like but got bad reviews. Yeah, same. Some games are beloved and it didn't review well, like Kirby Air Ride. Most GameCube fans love Kirby Air Ride. It got horrible reviews from critics. I love Lost in Shadow on Wii. I think it's one of the best Wii games and it did not review well. Most people think it's mediocre. I think it's one of the best Wii games, personally. I see it. Video game reviews are the opinion of a few dozen individuals, and the best case are just marketing at worst. Yeah, pretty much. There is merit for video game reviews, obviously. Because they are a good way of uh, gauging if you think a game might be for you if you happen to find a reviewer who shares your tastes. Generally speaking, if two people have similar tastes, they're likely to like the same things. It's not going to be the case with everything. Like, I typically agree with Nintendo Power's reviews, back when Nintendo Power was still a thing, but they didn't actually like Lost in Shadow all that much. Granted, it's multiple reviewers, so like, not all of them are going to say the same thing. Also, why I trust these reviews more since they're less likely to just be paid. Most uh, journalists actually criticize people who say that, oh, you just got paid because they're like, alright, then where's my paycheck? Some of them wish they got paid for better reviews. Yeah, these reviews on some websites like, uh, oh god. Because uh, of bots, like on Metacritic, where they'll just say uh, something that has nothing to do with the game and then just mass click the zero out of ten. I also don't always trust user reviews for a similar reason. Because professional critics ideally know what they're talking about, whereas users don't always know what they're talking about. And I have seen some pretty shitty user reviews. I've seen some shitty critic reviews too, but I've seen more shitty user ones. I don't trust user reviews because I think everyone else but me is dumb. Except you guys, you guys aren't dumb. Oh, don't worry, I'm dumb, you can say that. You say that again and I swear I will bite you. Guys, let me settle down. I didn't mean to take the two and Get rid of the three. Uh, fuck. I'm saving that. Modern Warfare 3 recently got review bomb and Metacritic, except it wasn't the new one, it was the old one, Lamel. Oof. Stone Cold Stunner! I just had an intrusive thought that's in my head that went stone cold Jane Austen. What is it with these guys' goofy little walk animation when they go sideways? Oh, 
Austin316 says it just whooped you ass. Excuse me, sir, could you please stay in range so I can blow your head off? Full recover? Ooh, that's probably gonna eat up my entire ammo. Try turning the safety off. Unreal Tournament, my beloved. Yeah, I had a feeling. Quick, just have a little bit more ammo. Uh, when are we gonna play UT99 together? Whenever Zeno uh, updates his copy of Unreal Tournament, because we're doing that with him. No, 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 no. This isn't on me. It's on Zeno, actually, because he hasn't updated his game yet. I am calling out Xeno specifically for this. Trust me, that is not the case. <laughs> Alright. I'm a little lost. I think I'm looking for a key. Oh, the little chickens. You know, can kick my ass and I wouldn't be able to fight back. Yeah, I think I'm a little lost. What am I looking for? Off on him. What exactly am I doing? Oh, I can get through here now, I think. I was in here earlier. Yeah, what you search for can be found on the second floor. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna just run. Ah, I see what you mean. You know what? Oh, I should take this over the armadillo fuckers. At least this will go by faster. Run, you mean dematerialize in the spot. Yes, exactly. See? Suppose it looks I'm getting some ammo and experience out of this. I'm getting a shitload of ammo. So theoretically, if I just take all the staircases down, I should be able to get back to the first floor and take the elevator. And what? <sighs> well, so I am. What if they bring back Unreal, but it's just a re-release of Unreal 2? <laughs> just Unreal 2, nothing else. Ah, uh, fuck Epic Games. Uh. 
now. Listen, I like pinball as much as the next person, but I do not appreciate getting pinballed like this. What am I streaming Unreal 2? I don't own it! It was the one I didn't buy! I don't actually own Unreal 2! <laughs> That's, that's where I need the key. Yeah, I, I, I legitimately don't actually own Unreal 2. So I can't actually stream it. Don't worry, nobody's allowed to own it now. Nobody wants to even sell it. Well, people want to sell it. It's Epic that doesn't want to. You can download it. It's morally correct. You know what? Yeah, Yeah. It's always morally correct. If they don't want me to pay for it, then I'm not going to. Give me a product and I will buy it. That is how it works. If you do not offer the product for sale, then I will get it through my other means. Because I have no other way of getting it. What do you want me to do? Personally go to Cliff Blazinski's office and ask for a copy of the game? So that which I seek is on the second floor. Oh, there's someone in there. Professor Clamp, don't move. Put your hands in the air where I can see them. Maeda? Uh, hi, Aya. Yes, th there was something I really needed to test. Er, may I put my arms down now? Did you come back here alone? Mm, no, Daniel came with me part of the way. Well, where is he? Er, yes, he went to look for something at the hospital. He should be on his way here. Oh. There haven't been any combustions recently, so I... Er, anyway, I asked Wayne to make this back at the station. Please use it. What is it? Yes, or er, I'll have to explain later. But I believe this will have some effect against Eve and the creatures she controls. Thank you. I guess I'll have to wait and see what it does. May it is gone. Attack 1. Came across some findings. Mm, yes. First of all, there was blood serum with Maya's name labeled on it in the freezer. My sister's name? And... Well, the research code for it was called Eve. Eve? Then Eve really is. It appears to have been made up of liver cells. He was culturing them in the past. What do you mean? What for? I don't know. There isn't any data left. But it seems Dr. Clamp has been culturing them for years. Recently, it appears he was conducting research on artificial sperm. For Eve, of course. For Eve? Or, yes. He wanted to exclude the mitochondria from the sperm and create new sperm. Sperm with no parasites. Sperm with only the nucleus. Sperm without mitochondria. Why are we talking about sperm so much? I mean, I love comma as much as the next guy, but do we really have to make a whole exposition about it? Yes, he took the sperm that he created here and moved it to the hospital. There, he would artificially inseminate those who would volunteer for the experiment. Then, what was that HLA list for? Professor Clamp? You ordinary beings will never, never comprehend my level of research. Professor, I'm placing you under arrest as the ringleader of this operation. What you did. This isn't something you can get away with, do you understand? You are pathetic, Brea. Why put yourself in the human domain by reciting meaningless laws? 
Sperm without mitochondria, suddenly they aren't the powerhouse of the balls. Welcome back, Bongo Turtles. They're meaningless, do you understand? Just fucking shoot him, you dumb bitch! I guess you, I, you haven't told your little friends yet. Your mitochondria has special powers, doesn't it, Aya? But sadly, you still have the form of a human being, don't you? You can say all you want, but I'm just here to arrest you, Professor Clamp. I'm not letting you interfere with Eve, you hear? Do you understand? Aya, look out! Get him! Daniel, thanks. I... I didn't see the scalpel. Why didn't you just fucking shoot him? Just shoot him in the kneecaps. Pop a cap in his caps. Just in time. Why didn't you sh- Exactly! See, he gets it. Why didn't you shoot? You could have been killed. I know. It just didn't seem real. Felt more like... Ugh. He's conscious again. It's always just off-screen to land a <laughs> helping fist. Dallas to the rescue, eh? Officer Dallas, why didn't you shoot me? What? I know you hate me. What do you want to say, huh? Of course I hate you. Because of you, Lorraine's... Lorraine? Hmm. So I see that your boy managed to escape. You... Should have killed you way back. Someday you're going to pay for this. We'll see. We'll see. What are you planning to do, Professor? You'll love this. I'm waiting for the birth of the ultimate being. The mitochondria is passed on from the mother, but you see. Traces from the father can also be found in minute quantities. According to Eve, her sister in Japan was unable to attain her ultimate goal because the father's side of the mitochondria caused a rebellion. For Eve to succeed this time, I created sperm without the male mitochondria DNA. Creation was a success. Eve is now pregnant with Melissa's body. Pregnant? Pregnant? How can that be possible? Damn, I, uh, we gotta kill Eve. Let's go. You humans are so weak. So stupid. You're a human too, you dumbass. You may have been able to barge in here and do things your way until now. Is they know. But things are going to change. I won't let you interfere with Eve anymore. Eve, can you hear me? You don't have to wait any more. I'm ready. What the hell are you talking about? Daniel, made a run. She's going to blow the whole place up. They just dive out of the second story window. So I see. Mitochondrial power doesn't allow you to burn. Why? Why stay here and try to save me? First of all, I'm a cop and it's my job. And after all, I am human. See, I would have just let him burn. Like I said, humans are pathetic. You are human, you dumbass. Clamp key. If a woman has starch masks on her body, does that mean she has been partnered before? Period question mark. Girlfriend ain't had periods since she got pre gap. 38 plus 2 weeks. Alright, I am going to take the elevator back to the save point. Just so I can save.
I'm gonna save again just to make sure because I wasn't paying attention. You always gotta be safe. You never know. You never fucking know. Here, go up the elevator, back to the second floor. That's not where the button is, Aya. Alright, second floor. Ding. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. I believe the clamp key might open this. We just like. Going to fight a T-Rex. I apologize if you can hear my body making noises. I'm gonna have to destroy the bathroom after stream, I guess. I've been trying to go all day and it will, my body will not let me. Oh boy, that's a lot. Where's the clamp key go, Sky? Do you happen to remember? Probably a lot I can do now. Make sure this room is one of them. Oh, it definitely is, because I've not been in here before. Now the question is where I'm where am I supposed to go now? There was the door that was uh, blocked off with all the weird goop on the fourth floor. Twenty-five million years ago, oxygen increased in the air. Why? Whatever that prompt was, I missed it. Well, it's definitely a room I haven't been in. Ow. Ow and ow. Chocobo detective. I am going to toss. Ow. And I'm going to do this. Quick. Over here, idiot. Ow! Motherfucker. There we go. Orc. I don't need my cure these nuts anymore. I need to play FF7 again. Chocobo. said before. Alright, I'm back here now. Uh, I'm just gonna press on.
Hey, hon, you don't have to apologize. I don't make anybody watch my streams, not even my own mods. As long as I have one mod in stream who's actually paying attention, that's all I need. You don't have to apologize, dear. And it's like that one monkey statue that's fallen over. Watch an owl house. I, I probably should watch that. I've heard it's good. shows have lesbians, not enough shows have gay men, though. As nice as it is for a lot of shows to have, uh, lesbians in it, I do wish that more would opt for gay men. Because you don't see that as often. You especially don't see gay older men. Sam and Max Freeland's boots. Correct. That is, that is a good, uh, gay rap show. <laughs> From what I know, Steve Purcell has not confirmed directly that Sam and Max are a gay couple, but he has said that it's up to interpretation, which is kind of probably his way of saying, yeah, they, they fucking. I mean, the very first episode of Sam and Max Freelance Police, the cartoon, outright states they're a married couple. Because it literally shows their wedding. Disney show, so it was already pushing boundaries with having date them and buy characters in a lesbian relationship. That's true. Maybe it's because lesbians is French for the goods and it's easier to sell the goods. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. Alright, when do I get to kick the T-Rex's ass? I mean, lesbians. Les lesbian. Lesbian. Girl. Alright, I'm pretty sure I can go to the fourth floor now. Didn't Yoko Shimamaro do the soundtrack, though? This is better or worse than that dinky ass song from uh No, I can't go through here yet. Yoko absolutely did it was all her. Yeah, Yoko Shimomura is one of my favorite composers. Alright, so where the fuck do I go now? Like, what am I even looking for? What is this game's soundtrack genre? Yes. No, like seriously, what am, what am I what am I searching for? Am I trying to get into the room with Eve? Am I trying to get into the room with uh, T Rex? Like, what what actually am I doing? Whatever it is ain't on the third floor. I mean, there is a door somewhere that hasn't been unlocked yet, and I genu genuinely can't remember where. Looking for my butt. Oh, I found my butt. I found my butt, my butt, and nothing but my butt.
And seal the Declaration of Independence. Hey, I haven't been this way before. This looks new. That was a good movie. Oh boy, more dinosaurs. The boss of this is just gonna be a fucking T-Rex, I just know it. That's the on. Oh, darkness! <laughs> it had to be darkness, then. Yeah, they're, they're bouncing up and down in a really goofy way, and I fucking love it. My old friend. So I want a movie with Tommy Wiseau and Nicolas Cage working together. I don't think they would ever work together personally. I cannot see that working out. I kind of get the feeling they would hate each other. This is the security office. I'm gonna stop by here to hit the save room. Yeah, we got a warning from Sky. That's Mesmerkan. That uh, sexual horror is coming up. So keep that in mind. It's a room on the third floor. I believe I am on the third floor. But I might be on the second floor. I'll have to find an elevator to really figure it out. Ha! Wait a minute. This is new. There we go. That's it. That was it. Remember to tinfoil your head to prevent aliens from probing your butt. Exactly. Or maybe this wasn't it. No. Am I on the third floor? The second floor. Right where I need to be, but then I walked out. Ah, oh, shit. Is it the room with the door I unlocked, or is it the monkey room?
Ah, damn, I have a lot of ammo. This area is a fucking maze. There's two save points in the entire area. Oh, hi! I didn't realize you were, uh, kind of fleshy. Dealing very little damage. Saramisu. Don't like that. <laughs> with flashing lights. Die already, please. Oh. 
Oh, thank God. Oh, that was a lot of points. Liberate. Liberate's mitochondrial control. God, that took a while. Since he said, please. Ah, whoops, I accidentally skipped that. Imagine if it crashed out the window and just... Game over, yeah! That's what I was worried about. Oh boy. Alrighty. That is a very fleshy looking tail. First things first, we gotta haste this. So we ain't looking so healthy. No, she ain't. And now we bury her. Oh, that deals a lot of damage. Oh, how the fuck do I dodge that, though? side idiot oh she can jump I got comboed! Oh, but I had a revive on me. Thank God for that. How do you dodge the fire? What in the goddamn? It covers the entire room. He almost fucking killed me again. Should totally try out Liberate. I think I have to wait for the meter to fill out a little bit more.
God damn. points in the active time now. Alright, so now how do I get out of here? If you have anything left you need to do, do it now. If you go past that room you were in earlier, it's endgame from here on out. Can I save at least? Where do I save? How do I get out of here? Where do I say? I can save. All right, where? Where? How do I get out of here? Doors on the left corner. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's literally the left corner now. All right. Okay, oh, I see. It's on right here. Okay. Alright. So. Define end game. Like, how much time do I have left in the game? Because I have 30 minutes left to stream, and I desperately need to use the bathroom at some point. Good hour left, maybe? Alright. Uh, I probably should save it for next time, because... I mean, who knows how hard the next bit is going to be. I mean, I can also just stop right here and then just finish the game next week. Because, I mean, that way I can actually, you know, go to the bathroom. Because I really need to do that. I don't... I don't know if I have it in me to deal with Eve tonight. I just... have to figure out what I'm going to do. She's about to get cranked up to 11. Yeah, and I'm about to, uh... Crank shit up to 11 as well. Yeah, until next time. I just, I don't know what I'm going to do for the backup game, because if I really am doing, uh, Legacy of Kane Dreamcast, I'd have to actually order that, so I'd have to figure out a backup game for PS1. Or PS2. I mean, I could always just play We Love Katamari, the original version, if you guys just want to vibe with me for a couple hours. I'm totally fine with doing that, personally. Okay, but that'll be the it for stream tonight. Uh, I'm gonna blow up a toilet in a little bit in Minecraft. Not really. Not clickbait. But uh, I will be back tomorrow with Super Mario Wonder. I'll be joined by Simkey again. Possibly UJF. Good friends of mine. Um... Tuesday is going to be... What is it? Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom. Wednesday will be Fuga Melodies of Steel 2. Saturday will be the finale of Halo 2. Um... Yeah. And then Sunday, next Sunday, will be the end of Heroside Eve, and I'll figure out something to do for a backup game. That's it doesn't sound like I'm going to be able to do the full... Go for the full time with just Heroside Eve. So, in the meantime... If you want to hang out at the stream, I have a Discord. I have a whatever that is as well, but... I 
I was using Sweat. I would have to change consoles, so there would be about a 10 to 15 minute break while I uh, put away the PS2 and grab the um, Switch stuff. But yeah, I, I can do, definitely do Splatoon. I, I guess I don't have to always stick it to one console. It makes me more flexible. Do a PS2, PS1 showcase afterwards. Oh, actually, that's a good idea. I like Zeno's idea. I can still chit chat while I'm doing that, depending on the games. Uh, anyways, if you want to keep all of my Twitter and other bullshit, and my Blue Sky, and my other bullshit on both websites, because I screwed up my spiel again, I have a Twitter and a Blue Sky if you want to keep up with that. If you ever miss a stream, I have a VOD channel on YouTube. Uh, who, who, who are we going to raid? Is Aoife streaming? I'm going to have a good time with Aoife. Does not look like it. You know, we haven't raided uh, Dark in a while. Let's raid Dark. Dark Sentella. He's also a good friend. <laughs> he has a little bow on him. That's cute. Um. Yeah. All right. We're going to raid Dark Sentella. So, raid message. If you would like to participate in the raid, we're going to go for Dapper Dragon Raid. I really should just copy this. So I don't have to type it out every time. Well, hold on, there's a word missing there. Fuck that. There we go. There we go. That's better. Alright. Copy the raid message if you want to join in on the raid. You can use whatever emotes you want as long as you copy the raid message. That's all I care about. Um. We will be raiding Dark Scintilla. And I will see you all tomorrow with Mario Wonder. I will see you all tomorrow. More <laughs> puns. Yeah. Yeah, well, whatever. Good night. Y'all have a good uh, evening. Go dark some love. You suck. We all suck in our own way, I guess. But either way, good evening and good night. Thank you, Zeno. And also, fuck you. <laughs>